In today's video, we're going to review the process of changing the WBD object model from the fall 2019 non-ARM uh, release to the spring 2020 ARM-based release using the Nerdia Manager for WBD. So in order to be able to use the ARM-based object model, uh, you need to be on at least version 2.0.0 of the Nerdio Manager. So you can click on updates and verify that you're running the latest version or at least the version that is newer than 2.0.0. If not, you can click the deploy button and the newest version will be installed for you. Then if you click on the settings menu on the left, you will see that there is a new tile called the WBD object model. And if you are upgrading from an existing version of the Nerdio Manager for WVD installation, it is going to be in a fall 2019 release, which is the non-ARM object model, which is what, what's been used up until now. And you have two options. You can either change to the spring 2020 update ARM-based model, which is currently in preview as of this video, or you can change to a hybrid model which is going to allow you to manage both the arm and non-arm so both the spring 2020 release and the fall 2019 release so let's go ahead and take a look at that process so let's switch to the hybrid model first we're going to click on hybrid right over here and click ok and that is going to allow us to select the account we're logged in with it's going to ask us to accept some consents uh, which may require global admin rights uh, if we are doing this for the first time. And what you'll notice now is there is a new menu that has been added to the navigational menu in the Nerdio Manager called Workspaces because in the ARM model, what used to be called WVD tenants is now referred to as a workspace. So you can now see there's workspaces and you can add and manage workspaces from within this interface. Now, if we went back into settings and changed to the spring 2020 update, not the hybrid version, but actually just the spring 2020, then what we would see is that only the workspaces menu would be available. And let's accept the, the consents one more time since we're switching this again, and we're no longer seeing the tenants menu and are now only seeing the workspaces menu over here. Now, one prerequisite to keep in mind for using the Spring 2020 object model in the Nerdio Manager for WBD is that the resource provider for virtual desktop should be registered. So if you search for, um, I think it's called desktop, desktop virtualization. So what you wanna make sure that in your subscription on the resource providers, the Microsoft.desktop virtualization resource provider is registered and if it's not then go ahead and select it to register once it's registered then you will be able to uh, make this change to the mode and be able to use the new arm based model now if you are installing a new version of the nerdio manager from the marketplace then you will also have uh, this selection for an object model right here. Once you're installing it, you'll be able to select whether you want spring 2020 only, hybrid, or only the fall 2019 version. Now, there's three things that are different uh, in the Nerdio Manager interface, or really about in, in the spring 2020 model, uh, and they are as follows. Number one, there is a name change between workspaces uh, and tenants. So what used to be called a WVD tenant is now called a, WV, a workspace. Uh, the second change is it is now possible to assign Active Directory security groups to your host pool. So if we click on one of the workspaces and we go in to add the new host pool, for example, uh, we will be able to type the name of either a user or a group so you can see we can select a group from this assignment or if we go to the manage assignments screen we will be able to also um, select both groups and users for assignment so that's a very uh, you know highly requested change that is uh, coming with the wvd spring 2020 object model which is now based on the azure resource manager so group assignment is now available 
And uh, then the third change is the fact that if you go into the Azure portal, any objects that are created inside of the workspaces module here in the Nerdy Manager are going to be visible in the Azure portal, whereas with the fall 2019 object model, they were not, they were in a separate application. So let's go ahead and search for something called manual pool. Uh, and what we'll find is that here is our host pool uh, that is the same as this one. If we click on this pool, we'll see that there are two hosts inside of it, and these are the names of the hosts. And if we click on session hosts, we will see those two very same hosts. So any changes made in the Nerdio Manager are also going to be reflected in the Azure portal. There are some capabilities uh, that you can do from the Azure portal natively. Uh, there's many, many more things that you can do and automate through the Nerdio Manager, but at least any changes that you make here will appear here and vice versa. So that is how to switch between the fall 2019 object model and the spring 2020 model. And I will see you in future videos.